As you're all aware, we went to erect this pedestrian bridge back in January, and while the bridge was the right length, there were two cross beams that uh, abutted up against a uh, concrete ramp. We had to cut those cross beams out, slide them back four inches, re-weld them and paint them in place. We're happy to announce today that we're completing that work. We're just wrapping up painting those cross beams right now, and we're planning on lifting this bridge into place on Saturday. We'll be opening the bridge in late spring of 2015. Sometimes we do get caught off uh, by little glitches like this, but I must stress this was a little glitch. Uh, there was a steel beam that we had to slide back four inches. Um, so in the whole scale of a, of a big project like this, it's not that, uh, not that big of an issue. Um, the bridge itself weighs almost 300,000 pounds. It's almost 60 meters long and three meters wide. So it's quite a complex project. We assembled the parts here on site, but they're actually fabricated all across Canada. So when the parts come together, sometimes there's little pieces that don't fit. We're not sure what the cost is right now, but the city won't be responsible for that. We don't actually have a, a, a count on how many people will be using it right now. One of the reasons we built this bridge was the uh, large amount of jaywalking happening across Shaganapi Trail. Back in 2011, we did a, a one day count and we counted almost 130 people jaywalking right in this area. So for safety for pedestrians, that's one of the reasons this bridge came in. Um, and it really to connect to the communities on either side of Shaganapi Trail.